Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's Boy John, aka Spirits here. In today's YouTube video, I'm showing you guys the no recoil hyper beam STG inside of Warzone, showing you guys in action. I'll also be going over the class setup at the end of the video for any of you guys who are interested. However, this weapon is arguably probably one of the better weapons, especially if you are struggling with controlling recoil. This gun is definitely for you. I highly recommend you guys give it a try. Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys have been enjoying the solo videos on the channel. I feel like they're a little bit more interactive in a way, and I think they're just higher quality overall. So let me know how you guys feel about it. Do you guys prefer to watch solos or do you like high kill duos, quads, and trios? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys do enjoy this video, video you can let me know by dropping a like subscribe me if you guys are brand new around here but without further ado guys I'll catch y'all in the gameplay but really nobody's floating in the air seriously Yeah, the rain, the rain turning to ice is kind of the biggest concern. Like, I wouldn't be, like, I'm not really even worried about the snow. Because, like, driving in snow isn't bad. But, but ice is, like, I mean, there's nothing you can do. Like, if you hit a patch of ice, like, you're literally smoked, bro. Do I consider disposable income 10000 and over? I mean, it just depends what, like, your financial practices are, right? If you only make $500 a month, but your rent's only 50 bucks, or you live for free, and then you're already saving, you know, 20, 30% of your, your check, then that's the, the rest is disposable, no? Like, it just depends on everybody's financial situation. But if you want to go about it in a way that, like, you don't want to have a certain amount in the bank before you start spending money, I mean, that's another good way to go about it, you know? But it really just depends on the person. Because everyone does have different financial situations. So, I mean, I always wanted to go to college. You mean, what did your parents say when you didn't want to go to college? I always wanted to go to college. I went to college. Now, when I got to college, I didn't think that's what I wanted to do once I got there. My freshman year, I uh, had a pretty serious talk with my mom about possibly dropping out of college and joining the Marines. But um, she just told me, she's like, you're already there, like finish it out. And then like, if it's still something you want to do, once you graduate or like a little later on, then, then you could do it. But like I've already did all the hard work and getting accepted into college, etc., etc. So, but I always wanted to go to college. I, I like school's not really for me necessarily, but like I don't know. I, college was the best thing that that happened to me. I grew up a lot when I went to college. It was like my coming of age experience. You know, like uh, I learned the value of hard work and and uh, time management, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Bro, oh, you're not even hunting me. What are you doing? Where the hell is this guy at? But yeah, so... So college was a... Uh, pretty big deal. Uh, for me, at least, you know, like, like, for me, it wasn't even like, like, I did learn a lot. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, uh, I learned a lot, but I, the main thing that I learned was about myself, you know, like as cheesy as it, it sounds stupid, right? It sounds so whack. Like, oh, that's stupid. But like, it's the truth. You know, I, I learned more about myself in college than I did, you know, education wise. I mean, I retained a lot of the information. I have a degree in business administration with a focus in entrepreneurship and then uh, a minor in information systems. And I apply what I learned in business school a lot to what I do with content creation and how I run my stream and my YouTube channel, et cetera, et cetera. But um, yeah, I mean, the biggest thing was was learning that, cause like I'm not the smartest person that's ever lived, right? But I'm not necessarily like stupid. But what I learned in college is you know, the smartest person in the room that's sitting right next, like, I would always, like, try to, like, 
I'd always compete with the smartest person in class, right? He's like, who else am I going to compete with? Why would I compete with somebody that's stupid? Who wants to win for free? But... We get area oh, I got a little bit. Um, UAV, beginning flyover. Enemy UAV active. When it came to the smartest person in the room trying to compete with them, it turned into realizing that, you know, I don't have to be smarter than them. I just have to work harder, you know? While they're, you know, going out and partying or whatever, I was in my, I was in my apartment studying for like 10 hours, 15 hours, right? When everybody was out partying on the weekends, I was in the library. I was, you know, uh, chilling. Like I was a part of, um, like a social entrepreneurship club in my, for my, like for the business school. And there was a little, it was like, we had our own little like office space in the business school. And I just called it my office. Like everybody knew if you needed to find John, you just go to the little office space. Like he's there and he's working, you know? Like if you need to help with a project or you need to help with something or you just need to talk or whatever, like I'm there, like I was there. I lived in the business school. I was literally like, it was 24 seven. Like it, it ended up becoming a problem to be completely honest. Like it ended up straining a lot of relationships and stuff like that because all I wanted to do was work, work, work. Like I wanted to be the best. I wanted to be the smartest. I wanted to be on top. It was like an obsession I had. But that was, that was the most important thing that I learned in, in business school or like in school was that, you know, I, I don't have to be smarter than you. I don't have to be better than you at anything. I don't have to do anything, but I'm willing to sit here and put in, I'll put in the hours. Like you're not willing to do that. Like I'll literally, like I'm about it. All right, where's this person at? My God. But yeah. I'm gonna MP40 him. Out of some disrespect, Kyle. Already have one, nice. Get some recon out here. You're a Bro, I was sitting there with ghosts, dude. My god. I should have known. The GI Bill is like, that is craziness. You can literally get paid for going to school and they'll pay for your school. Who are you, little invisible dweeb? Me? I mean, I am using invisible scan, but I mean, I literally spotted you with my hawk eyeballs, brother. Little Batavius. Gas is moving in. New safe zone highlighted. Like, this is an unwinnable circle, bro. This is exactly what I was talking about. Like, a total coin toss. Just out in the middle of the open, it's going to go to whoever sits still the longest. I hate that, bro. I'm about to go sit still for a long time. <laughs> I'm about to just go sit still for a long time. Hold up. Let me just win this game. Like, this is... Uh, oh, I hate that. Like, there's not a building that I could be on, like, perched. You know, like, perched up top, looking around. Being, like, a dominant force on the map. Instead, I got to, like, lay here, like, a little... Mm. A weenie. Look at this guy. I'm on the shooter. Enemy precision airstrike. Stay alert. You're so good, man. You're running around invisible, dude. I don't want to hear it. But I am incredibly good. Thank you. I'll take the compliment. 
safe zone. I'll take the compliment. I'm in a bush. Oh, loadout drop inbound. But like that's how you literally how you have to play. You don't have a choice. Like if I go running around like that guy, then that's gonna happen to me. Like somebody sitting in a bush. I'm playing smart though. My first instinct was to jump down there and try to absolutely gun this fool. Enemy precision airstrike. Stay alert. I sh like I should be getting rotated on. Like I would have. Uh, okay, so there's two people to my down to my down left because somebody just stunned and flashed or, or double stunned or something. I don't know. And then I mean, I in theory, it's almost too easy of a read that somebody would be in that because it is the only piece of hard cover. One v one v one. Okay, so I mean, he's got to be in there because if the one person's down there, then there's somebody to my right. Law of triangles. Everybody knows this. Because if one's over there, I'm here. The other guy's got to be over that way. He could still be up on my hill on my right. Safe zone. Gas what is, is this in. zone pool, bro? Location marked for you. Nope. Never mind. Please, dude. Location marked for you. I mean, that's kind of risky business. We'll see what happens. I have an airstrike to work with as well. I just, I don't want to use it because I'll pop up on the map, you know? Yes, he's moving. I'm only getting up here because I think I'll be able to kill both people before they kill me. Seeing that guy's shots, I think I'll be fine. Prepare for rest. You gotta be kidding, man. I think I killed myself. I'm dead. No, the other guy definitely knows where I am. Such knows what does he plan to do about it? Double stun and invis skin. How does it feel to get disrespected? <gasps> get up, little reindeer! You're invisible as well! You son of a... You son of a gun, double stun, little man. You little double stun son of a gun. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. We'll be seeing you, bud. Let's go. A little W. SCG is an absolute beam machine. Excuse me. And you do got to play slow. Like, you I, uh, you got to pump the brakes at the end game, which is something I'm not good at. But you got to pump the brakes and think because you got to put yourself in a good position. All right. So if you guys made it this far into the video, this is the STG build that I was rocking. I have the Mercury Silencer, the VDD 760, the SVT dash 40 scope three by six and then the stock i have the vdd precision for the under barrel i'm using the cover four grip the rear grip i'm using the taped the perk is vital and then the second perk is fully loaded now this is where things get interesting this is what makes it really beamy and that is going to be the ammo type for the magazine i'm using the 762 garanko 50 round mags these have less recoil, a higher fire rate, but it does have less damage. So that's why vital comes in really handy here and aiming for headshots is absolutely crucial. With that, you guys obviously wanna have on length and so your bullet velocity as high as possible. That's just kind of a no brainer. Anyway though, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys screenshot the build, share with a friend, anything of that nature, feel free to subscribe. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll catch y'all later.